Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good and well as usual. So in today's video, we're continuing off my collection series and today we're gonna to be looking at my Essie collection. Essie is hands down my favorite mainstream brand. I just, they're just so near and dear to my heart. Um, it's the first nail polish brand that I started collecting, so I do have a lot, but ironically I have more than more China Glaze, but I think it's because China Glaze comes out with more unique finishes. So, you know, that's why I have more of them. So my helmet drawer fits most of my Essies. So I'm pretty lucky for that. And the second drawer here, the, the rear front of it is just filled with like three more in the back of the first row. So yeah, this video is going to be short and sweet. I don't know if you guys like longer videos or shorter videos. You can let me know in the comments. I guess it depends on what the subject matter is, right? But yeah, let me know how you're feeling and what your opinion is. And let's just get into this show and tell. So as usual, we're going to be going in alphabetical order. I feel like putting in them in alphabetical or order is giving me a lot of solace just because I have been buying less and it's just nice to remember where the polishes are, when I want to use them, and it makes organization less stressful because I'm not adding too much to my collection. I decided that like at the end of the year when, I ha when I've collected all my polishes, I'll reorganize everything, but yeah. Anyways, sorry for that tidbit. First one we're looking at is... All Daisy Long. This is a beautiful white pearlescent polish with a bit of a rainbow shimmer in there ranging from like green to pink. Really interesting. I think this is really nice for summer. Maybe even for like wedding season or something. It just looks so elegant and classy. I haven't tried this one. I'm judging it by the bottle. <laughs> but... I think it'll be really unique. So that is all Daisy Long. Next is Alligator Purse. A really orangey red brick red cream these are staples in my collection i love these for fall they're beautiful this is after school boy blazer one i bought for the name i love this one wearing it towards the end of august going into september this is just one of those polishes that i will never stop loving so that was after school boy blazer and gora cardi this is se's number one best-selling polish i believe if not number one it's one of the best selling this is just a beautiful staple mauve gorgeousness on your nails and i've used quite a bit this is Armed and Ready. This came out in a trio, and I have that uh, trio. I guess that's my first full collection I've ever bought. <laughs> but this is Armed and Ready. It's a gorgeous, like, brownish gray with a lot of shimmer in there. Essie does shimmer polishes pretty well. I have quite a few of them. So this is one of them I love. This is Bahama Mama, another great seller for Essie. It, this is a gorgeous plum purple. So good on the nails. Bikini Sotini, another OG from Essie, another shimmer polish from them. Formula is not A1, but the polish is, <laughs> and it is definitely worth the work. So that was Bikini Sotini. This one is Bedrock and Roll, another staple in my collection. <laughs> this one came out in like a terracotta color collection. I'm surprised I didn't get the whole collection, but these, this is one of the ones that spoke to me. So that's Bedrock and Roll. Bell Bottom Blues, this is a metallic blue. Really, really pretty. I love these like dark colors on my nails when they're short. Birthday Suit. This is a sheer, sheer cream polish. It's like a jelly. Um, Essie brought this back, has like one of their best selling polishes. It's like from the vault. This also came out Starry Starry Night, which was a huge disappointment for <laughs> everyone basically, but this was one of them. Beautiful Horizon. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous polish with that sunset shimmer in there. I like to call these shimmers sunset shimmers because this looks like a sunset in a ball to me. It's so pretty. Bungle Jungle, which is one that I um added back to my collection this is a really unique like jewel tone gorgeousness like this looks so unique on the nails and really eye-catching this one is brownie points another staple like fall brick cream red color this one is more has more of a berry tone color to it than the brick red butler please this polish i feel like it's so controversial because you love it or hate it um it's one that has kind of goops up quickly but um I like it. It's like an electric blue on your nails. And this is my second bottle of this guy. Cabana Boy. <laughs> this one is really interesting. Um, it takes about three coats, but the payoff is worth it. It's like a milky pearl essence finish on your nails. It's, this is definite sweater vibe um, polish. Like this is just really nice. I think it's really good for all year too. It's quite unique. Can't Film Fest, which is one that I've had to thin out, but it's a very, very old polish, and I just love how beaming this looks on our nails. It is bright fluorescent. It's beautiful. This one is called Chilato, one of my favorites. I've mentioned this on my spring rack and everything. Like, this 
polish is just so good the formula is not but oh, the payoff is so worth it a lot of polishes from Essie are like that but really gorgeous chubby cheeks one of my favorite favorite like burnt orange coral creams this one is absolutely breathtaking on the nails clam bake which is a red jelly quite sheer cocktail bling really really pretty dusty blue color cocktails and coconuts this is another shimmer polish that is such a unique neutral it looks gorgeous on the nails doesn't look it doesn't no it looks like much in the bottles but it looks even more fantastic on the nails coat azure which is another gorgeous like oceanic blue i love this one coat couture which came out in their cashmere matte collection this is the only one i got from that collection because of the shimmer this is Demir Vixen. This is another indie looking one from Essie. Really, really love this one. That shimmer in there comes out so prominently on the nails. Don't Be Chocolate. This is Dive Bar, one of my oldest Essies in my collection. I love this polish. I've used quite a bit of it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, deep, deep, like metallic-y teal blue. Really nice. Dark teal blue. This one is Exotic Liras. I've talked about this many times. One of my favorite Essies. One of my most sentimental polishes in my collection. Love it. This one is called Exposed. This came out in their Wild News collection. Oh, one of my top picks. This one is just so eerie and mysterious and it just looks so good on your nails. It's like swamp water <laughs> for your nails. It's beautiful. This is Fair Game. This is a gorgeous, like grayish, bluish, silver, 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 silver. There's a lot going on in this polish. It's a really nice uh, winter polish. I did uh, wear this recently, um, earlier this year, so I really love this one. First Timer, which is one of my most unique greens in my collection. This is one of those greens you have to get on your nails. It's so, so good for the summertime. Really gorgeous. This one is Fishnet Stockings. Really, really gorgeous berry toned red from Essie. This, I think this is one of, the, like one of those underrated colors from Essie. It's really nice. This one is Flower Vista. This came out in one of their spring collections. Super popular. I think this is in their core collection uh, now, but really gorgeous, like, orchid-looking purple. Really nice. Garden Variety, which came out in the same collection, has Flower Vista. It's so unique on the nails. This one is Going Incognito. Oh, such a gorgeous green, you guys. So unique on the nails. This one is just looks good matte, looks good glossy. This is definitely a staple green from Essie in my collection. I love it. Good has gold. I haven't tried this one yet, but it's a really interesting metallic looking color. I'm hoping it doesn't show too many of the ridges, but I thought this was interesting. Go Overboard, which is a trio from the Armed and Ready polish that I talked about. This is the second one in the collection. It's a really, I'm gonna shake it a bit. <laughs> it's a really, really nice uh, blue, has ugly bottle. I like to call these polishes storms in a bottle because they kind of look like storms in a bottle a little bit to me <laughs> instead of ugly sin bottle syndrome <laughs> polish. But yeah, that's just something I like to call them. But this is really, really pretty. Kind of looks like, like dusty clouds or something. <laughs> but it's a really gorgeous polish. It's a deep, deep, um, like navyish blue green color. It's really unique. This one is Hey There. Really interesting yellow because yet yeah, SC doesn't come out with a lot of yellows. This polish was really nice, but the formula was not. It took about three coats, but it was still pretty. High Voltage Vinyl. This came out in their fall collection last year. Haven't tried it, but this is just beautiful, you guys. Like, look at it. It's so shimmery so like lizardy like it just it reminds me of lizard, lizard skin like an alligator purse it's really nice honey bun one of my oldest essies in my collection this formula has not ceased it ceased it to fail like it is beautiful it still applies so nice i've had it in my collection for years so yeah love it honey bun it's genius which is a really really nice uh, a shimmer polish but the shimmer doesn't come up too much on nails but it's still a really nice purple color Island Hopping. This is my backup of this guy that I thought I could never be able to find. I actually thought this color got continued, but Beyond Polish came through, which has been closed down since January now, unfortunately, but this one is so gorgeous. In Stitches, another staple from Essie. Really pretty. Jamaica Me Crazy. This one is Jelly Apple. It's a jelly red polish. It's darker than Clam Bake. Clam Bake is a bit lighter, like tomato-y, but this one's a bit darker. Caftan, this one took me forever to find, unfortunately, but when I did, so happy. The formula is so good on this one, and it's a beautiful polish for this, 
for the fall time. This came out in the spring collection, ironically, but it's very beautiful. Leggy Legend, which is a really interesting bronze color. Kind of have hint to pink in it. Um, comes out on the nails a little subtly, but it's very, very unique to look at in the, in the bottle. Like, I love the contrasting pink and the, the brown copper, really nice. Life of the Party, which is a whiny, like, uh, jewel-toned red. This is Limited Addiction. This came out in Essie's 2010 fall collection, which was one of my favorite collections from of all time. Beautiful finishes in that collection. I have almost every single one except one. Loot the Booty, which is another one on my untried list. Love Fate Relationship. Little Brown Dress, which is one of my OG Essies. I absolutely love this one. Such a unique brown and one of my sentimental polishes. This is Max. Oh, really interesting, like candied, glassy red. You can see how like glassy it is in the, nail, in the bottle. It's so pretty. Love this red. Madison Avhue, which is another shimmer polish from them. Love this one. So nice for the summertime. Really gorgeous. Making Harmony, which is my fav one of my favorite dusty purples in my collection. Really pretty. Mamba, another interesting neutral color with a bit of, you know, like a taupey. No, not a taupey, sorry. Like an orangey shimmer in there. This is Marshmallow. <laughs> Love this one. I like to put this on my... Uh, my summer or spring rack just because I think like white nails in summer or spring is kind of nice and this is a jelly so really interesting polish masquerade bell this one I don't remember when I picked this one up but it is very old <laughs> this is Maximilian Strasser I think I'm saying that right if I'm not let me know but I'm pretty sure that's how you say it Maximilian Strasser which is a really interesting um like gray well not like gray sorry green bluish color I like this one it's very unique this is Meet Me at Sunset. When I first bought this polish, it didn't come with a brush. I opened it and I was like, that's interesting. <laughs> so I just uh, switched it out for another one, but I thought that was funny. So that's Meet Me at Sunset. Merino Cool, I love this one. It's so beautiful, you guys. The bottle shots don't do it justice. It's one of those ones you have to get on your nails. I think this is another popular SD one. It's a classic, definitely. Mesmerized, beautiful blue. This one is Chef's Kiss. One of those ones you have to get on your nails as well. Midnight Cami, which is pretty similar to OPI's Russian Navy. Um, I do have that one. This one is very beautiful. I love these inky blue colors like this. They really do stain. They're really pretty. Million Mile Hues, which is similar, a bit similar to Leggy Legend in the fact that it has like a shimmer in there, but this one is leaning towards green not pink but there's a little like green shimmer in there it's very subtle on the nails i saw it when i um saw a swatch video of this polish and i was like wow and that's make me want to purchase it but this one is really unique on the nails i love it mochaccino another shimmer polish essie does these quite well this is a very unique neutral my unique neutral my collection i love it mooning which another one that came out in their wild nudes collection this is a really really gorgeous gorgeous neutral blue Naughty Nautical, another shimmer polish. Yep, gorgeous, and I've used a ton of it. Love this in the summertime, especially on the toes. It's really nice. Nice is nice. This one came with the wonkiest brush I have ever seen. <laughs> this is like a one-off, really, but yeah, it's like, it's not a paddle brush. It's just really hard to apply, but yeah, I'll probably just buy a replacement brush, but really gorgeous. I should have put this on my spring rack. This one is beautiful. Nice is nice. Off Tropic, which is a beautiful like forest green cream. This is actually quite similar to Going Incognito, but this one is darker and this one has a lot more yellow in it, which makes it a bit lighter, like more of like a army green color. And this is forest green, but these are just both such beautiful greens in my collection. I love them both. Over the top, this is a very interesting color. Has a bit of hints of blue and silver in there another gem from Essie that is not really talked about it's quite beautiful on the nails I like it Parka Perfect which is another shimmer polish really nice um, the formula is not great but this one is definitely worth it it's very pretty Penny Talk which is I think another popular one from Essie even though it's a metallic because metallics are like notorious for like bringing out all the imperfections in your nails because um, of the chrome effect of them but this one doesn't really do that for me that I found it's actually quite nice on the nails, like a rose gold, like metallic. It's very nice. This one is Playdate, and the last one from that trio I talked about. So Armed and Ready, 
Go Overboard and Play Date. This is like, I think I remember because it's like the first collection I've actually like, fully collection I've actually had in loads of trio. But this is a gorgeous, gorgeous like orchid, another orchid purple, another staple for SE, super popular this one. Playing Koi, this came out in their 2016 fall collection, which was based on Japan. I love this one. Oh, this is just like the burnt orange cream of all burnt orange creams. I think it's a bit hard to find, but I think it's available here and there. But um, this one is so beautiful. I love it. This one is Poolside Service. Very, very pretty, interesting, like bluish green cream. This is Power Clutch, another interesting, like, greenish gray like this is just oh so unique on the nails i loved this one pretty edgy which is another interesting green this is raspberry i haven't worn this one yet i don't think or i can't remember i don't think i have but it's a really pretty cream this is what is this ready to boa it's a nice like metallic -y chocolate brown with like hints of red oh this one is just a one on the nails really unique this one is Rocky Rose. This came out in their terracotta themed um, collection. I'm surprised I didn't get all of those, but the first one I showed you was Bed Rock and Roll, and this is the second one I got. Very, very pretty. I think it's quite unique. Rest Worthy. Now this came out in the same collection, has Sweater Weather, which is a lemming of mine. Really pretty. It's like a copper, like metallic. This is just, oh, can't wait to wear it in the fall. Definitely a fall pick. Sable Collar. Pretty interesting like plummy brown hey like this one on nails a lot this came out in the same collection has parka perfect uh, this one is school of hard rocks which is a bit similar to poolside service but that one is a bit more greener and that one's a lot more bluer seeing stars which is a coffee brown metallic very pretty this is so psyched Another one from their 2010 collection. This is definitely the star of that collection. I'm not sure if you can get this one anymore, but it's a really interesting sagey shimmer green. It is beautiful. A lot of people consider this ugly pretty. I think it's just pretty. I love it. Sexy Divide, which is another one of my favorite purples from Essie, and a backup. Sexy Plunge, really um, jewel toned orange, really nice. This is Shearling Darling. Sitting pretty. <laughs> this is pretty, pretty similar to Playdate. Let me just find it. Yeah, pretty similar, but you know, I love these purples and they do have a bit of a different nuance because Sitting Pretty has a bit of a dusty quality, whereas Playdate has more of a pinkish purple quality. Either way, I'm keeping both. Smoking Hot, a really dusty, smoky purple. This is another super popular one from Essie next to Merino Cool. I absolutely love those two. They're just so similar. They're similar and so different at the same time. They're both really nice. My backup of Smooth Sailing and another shimmer polish from Essie. Guys, if you can find this one, please get it because you won't regret having it on your nails. It's so gorgeous. Social Lights, which is pretty similar to Armed and Ready. But they are not. And this one is a lot darker. And that one's a lot lighter. Um, I think this Social Lights is pretty good for winter. I think these are both winter and fall polishes. They're just so beautiful. This one is Sure Shot. Gorgeous magenta jewel toned polish. This is Splash of Grenadine. Another popular one from Essie. So unique on the nails. Um, amazing formula, amazing polish. One of my favorites. Sunny Days, which is another shimmer polish. This one has an orange shimmer. You guys, if you can find this one again, please get it because so unique, super unique, neutral. It is really, really good. Stones and Roses. Now this one, I had a love-hate relationship because corals tend to make my fingers look big. And um, this one kind of did that, but I kind of liked it at the same time. It was like a happy medium. So I'm still trying to explore with that one, but that was Stones and Roses. This is Style Cartel, another gorgeous, bold blue. Essie does these very well. Taj Mahal, which is another one of my transition shades. I love this one. I've used it a lot. It's so beautiful. Talk Sweet to Me, another one from their Valentine's Day collection. This is The Girls Are Out. This is pretty similar to Madison Avenue, except this is a much darker, darker one. And another shimmer polish. Love these from Essie. They also do these quite well. 
Tide in Blue, which is one of my winter picks. This reminds me of like that, you know, that birthday wrapping paper, confetti paper, but a blue version of it. It's very, very gorgeous. And I definitely want the green version of this one. This is Tribal Textiles. Like yellows, Essie doesn't come out with a lot of blacks. So this one had a shimmer in it. And you know how I feel about these shimmers. They are beautiful. So that one is another one I wanted to pick up. Truth or Flare, this is a dusty jelly blue, very pretty. Trophy Wife, this is another gorgeous oceanic metallic blue. Um, I say this is a sister polish to Dive Bar because they're both like metallic-y looking polishes. This one's beautiful. And the last one for this drawer. Going into the second drawer here, you can see it's very barren. <laughs> so this one is Wrap Me Up. This came out in their Valentine's Day collection. Not sure what year, but really pretty this is urban jungle formula is so watery but this is a pretty unique and like a really calming color to wear on your nails you look at it and you just kind of feel calm you know it's um, a really interesting like pinkish like blush color um, it's very nice I like it this is using my maiden name I was gonna get simple colors lavender the mercy from their Essential Chills collection, but this one, I remember I had this one, and it's basically a dupe, and I think the shimmer in there is a bit stronger as well. That's using my maiden name, total indie vibes for this one too. This is very structured, gorgeous, gorgeous, uh, mid-tone brown. This just has these red undertones in it that make it super unique. Viva Antigua, I find that these turquoisey shimmers don't really look good on my nails, but I did get it for the shimmer, of course, and I didn't love it on my nails, so this is one I might de-stash, but um, it's a really beautiful polish though, really nice. Warm and Toasty Turtleneck. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, dusty purple. One of those polishes you have to get on your nails to experience its beauty. Like the bottle shot does not do it justice, but this is so beautiful. This one is Watermelon, a really nice staple color for the spring and really nice and vibrant for the summer as well. It's good for any season. This is beautiful and I think my bottle's gooping up a little bit actually, so I'll probably have to add some thinner, but this is gorgeous watermelon. Wicked, another staple for SE. This has been compared to OPI's Lincoln Park After Dark, and that's one of the reasons why I don't have that polish in my collection, because I already have this one, but I love this. This is like an ox blood, like reddish purple color. It is very gorgeous, and to me it does not look black on the nails, but you know, it's different for everybody. Winning Streak, the last one I picked up in their Wild Nudes collection. Oh, the three that I picked up I really loved and that collection was really good I think it was kind of like a nice starter collection for someone that was not looking for two bright colors but ones that really pop on the nails that was a winning streak this is you do blue I have not tried this yet but this is absolutely gorgeous this reminds me of like like a like Cinderella's ball gown or something <laughs> with that shimmer like this is just total indie vibes and I think Essie did an awesome job on this polish like it's so unique and beautiful love it last but not least we have your hut or mine which is another slight shimmer polish but it's not as strong as the other ones that i've showed you it's a nice like pinky polish this is just so so good i absolutely love it and i'm definitely going to put it on my summer rack because it's just so vibrant and nice so that was your hut or mine all right guys that was it for this video i hope you enjoy you're enjoying this collection tier as much as i'm enjoying filming it and showing you guys what i have in my collection next up is going to be my opis my zoyas and my orleys so please stay tuned for that and then we'll be going on to some indies so i hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you in the next one take care